Hey guys and welcome back to Tea Style and Life. In this video I will be talking about the 2022 fashion trends and tips on how to style those trends. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit your subscribe button notification bell for new videos. Enjoy! Alright guys, jumping right into the first trend of 2022 it, and that is bright bold colors. Of course as you can see on this screen these uh, looks were pulled from different venues that I've seen over time. The last two weeks, I think New York Fashion Week ended and Paris Fashion Week is currently still going on, scheduled to end on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I pulled some of those looks just to let you know kind of what the fashion houses are doing this season and what are the trends. So you do have some kind of reference point in reference to the things I'm talking about in this video. So starting with the first lady in the blue and the second lady in the green, they have on monochromatic looks with different variations of the same color and hue. Um, and then they did different textures, which is also a trend this season, putting on monochromatic looks with different uh, textures or patterns to give your outfit more personality. The lady in the blue has on a faux fur with some uh, detailing around the shoulders and then she uh, paired it with a pair of silver mule heels and the lady in the green she did a monochromatic look with two different variations of green and the pants and sweater with uh, then pairing it with uh, a neon print uh, not print but a neon uh, heel and then ending it with the yellow Balenciaga bag. And she toned it down with the all black trench coat just to make, um, I guess, a statement with her green and yellow, which the pop of color is doing that. It gives the outfit personality, which is what bright, bold colors do. Moving on to the lady in the orange dress. Another trend you're gonna see a lot this year is um, capes and hoodies on dresses and shirts of that nature, men and women. As you see the lady in the bright, bold orange dress, this is a way to play on the trend with the bright, bold orange. And then she paired it with a pair of red heels to break up the all bright orange. Moving on to the next lady in the orange dress that's a metallic and sequence type of material also a big trend this year i'm going to talk about that later on in the video as well but if you notice that she does not have on the average heel that is dressy or dainty most might think would go with that dress she has on a pair of gray booties that's a big trend this year as well pairing booties or boots uh mini skirts and things of that nature for spring and summer they are basically letting you know that boots can go on past the cold winter months that's going to be a style and a trend this year. You're also going to see some boots that have open toes to, through them. You've seen those throughout the years, but that's a big trend that's coming as well. So to give it a different look, give your outfit some type of flair, she paired it with the gray booties because it wasn't the expected norm of just a dainty heel to pair off of that bright uh, metallic sequined dress. So moving on to the last lady, this is a nice trend that is big this year as well. The different patterns or textures. So she has on a suede set that is a crop jacket and then a mini skirt. Mini skirts and crop jackets are big this year. They're coming back in style as I'm sure you've seen a lot through the fashion magazines and staying with the last lady in the cobalt blue to the right, blue and shirling and then the suede around the middle of the skirt and on the outsides of the jacket that is a um, another monochromatic look that they're playing off of different textures or fabrics within the outfit to make it pop still so you kind of have the same color but you have a different texture or feel which brings a different color for the monochromatic outfit if that makes sense okay guys up next we have another picture of bright colors um, as you see this is a picture of Zendaya I believe this was a Valentino ad for the probably the purse but I'm not certain but um, anyway I pulled it because of the color of the outfit that monochromatic look with the long over long extended shirt and the shorts that's here again another trend within a trend the monochromatic look bright colors and then the oversized long shirt that's something big that you'll also see this year to look out for. Okay guys, next up we have another bright look. 
Um, but this one, we kind of keeping it a little simple for those that are not really big into color, but want to somewhat incorporate color into your outfit this season or this year, here's a way to do it. Um, this lady in the picture has on just some regular black pants. Uh, I think they might be uh, faux leather or leather with a white t-shirt and then a bright blazer, a bright orange blazer. So if you're not sure if you're really into color or you're a little afraid to jump out there into all of the different monochromatic total full looks, this is a way to start or get your footing in the door for adding color into your wardrobe. Putting one piece on your average jeans or a pair of slacks um, and going from there or even some shoes and just uh, regular your normal looks adding color throughout something of your outfit gives it personality and will get you into the trend if that's something you're interested in you don't have to follow trends not that I do either I love color I've been wearing color before it was a trend I'm just trying to give and share ideas on ways to wear color if that's not something that you're really into or a little hesitant to do because it stands out too much to you or you think it makes some type of statement that that's not you um, but you want to somewhat try it this is a way to try to do that I hope that helps moving on to the next next up we're going back to the monochromatic look with the bright bold uh, blue and I think she has like a teal t-shirt inside and this outfit she paired it with some kind of chunky sole boots or a muted green uh, purse um, this for those that um, want to wear more color but um, want to know how to do it and not sure you can easily start with a suit which a lot of stores have those where you can buy the top and the bottom basically and then you just all you need to do is pair like a t-shirt underneath and then your shoes so if you're not sure of how to do a monochromatic look you could easily go to any store such as like Zara. I have some other pictures that I'll insert. They have suits with the, uh, the jacket and the pants. And that's an easy put together monochromatic look if you're not um, sure on how to create one yourself or something within your own wardrobe. You can do that and um, just pair it with, de depending on the person, if you are want to dress it up, you can do some heels. You can even do some tennis shoes. You have um, some uh, J's, some ones. You pair it with that, that pops as well. Or if you want to dress it up and put some heels on, or as this lady did, you can put a chunky sole boot on, which is also a nice trend that is going on this year as well. The chunky sole boot is definitely in this year. Um, so there's another idea of how to do a monochromatic look in a suit if you're not sure of how and you want to just start off with something you can go to any department store and easily pick up a suit that's already put together for you and then insert your own t-shirt and shoes to um, finish it off moving on to the next guys the next trend we're going to talk about are textures layering and prints um, as you can see, the pictures that I have up are pictures of textures. The first picture the lady has on a textured uh, print coat with uh, she's layered it underneath a chunky sweater in a deep um, forest green. And then she has on some lime green sequined pants. So this is what I mean by layering and textures. She's combined both trends by putting on the texture, the print uh, trench coat with the sequined pants that is a trend that is happening and then the layering moving on to the next picture where you see the two ladies in the different colors of green um the one lady is wearing feathers um out of her shirt the first lady on the left in green feathers is also a big trend this season um and then she layered it with a trench coat uh kind of forest green um with the lighter pant um, the lady next to her has on leather pants that are green along with a blazer and a kind of lime turtleneck. They are combining a lot of the trends together. And as you notice, they have the bold colors with the textures, the layering and the prints. Um, next up, we have the ladies in a sequined orange skirt with some detailing in it with just the plain white shirt and then she layered it with a, a cardigan that matched the sequined orange skirt. 
going to see a lot of sequins and pants, skirts, jackets, everything. They even have the bubble coats and sequins this year. Um, next up, we have the, the last lady. She has on some, as I've stated, sequined pants, and she layered it with a jean shirt and a white vest and a bucket hat. Bucket hats are very big this year as well. <laughs> I'm pulling a lot of trends for you guys. So what actually is going to be hot this season throughout the year of 2022. I hope this helps. Moving on to the next. Okay, guys, up next we have high-end streetwear. And then the pictures that I have here, I'm going to tell you about a few things that are trends through the high-end streetwear look. Uh, the first picture you have the two ladies, um, she has on either the faux leather pants with a graffiti type sweatshirt and uh, the lady next to her has on some chunky style boots that have writing all over them with a mini skirt, another trend, and a crop leather jacket. That to me is considered high end streetwear because of the graffiti sweatshirt and then the chunky style boots that have writing on them because it's kind of like an edge but cute but still sophisticated so that's why I give it the name high end streetwear. Moving on to the next the second look I love um, I have the tomboy girly chic look that I love to do a lot and this to me is that here again incorporating another trend like I told you about earlier the bucket hat this lady has on a bucket hat she has on the teddy bear like type coat or teddy coat i should say in like a auburn or brown with an oversized navy blue sweatsuit um, and a, a fresh pair of tims so that right there is such a high-end streetwear look and is so bomb it's it's always comfortable it's always chic it's just the best i love that i have that outfit in many different colors many different coats i style it different ways i absolutely love the tomboy chic look and that is one of them so that third look right there the high-end streetwear with the chunky navy blue sweatsuit the blue uh, jean bucket hat and the oversized teddy coat and some fresh tims you can't go wrong with that all right, moving on to the next look you have, she is wearing, I believe this outfit is totally Prada. Some look like uh, snow pants that are pink by Prada. And then she has a crop bubble jacket by Prada and a pairing it with a black turtleneck. And um, that right there, I call that high end street wear as well, because I mean, you're out and about in some ski or snow pants as a look that's fashion she's killing that um and she you that's one of the biggest things about fashion in my opinion you have to own the look if you were timid and wasn't acting like you could really pull that off it would look crazy but just in the picture alone she is wearing that look the pink ski snow pants that is fire she's really wearing that and here again like i said that's a crop jacket the prada bubble jacket that's a trend and lastly we have um, a monochromatic look with the neon jeans and some neon heels and then she paired it with the forest green bomber jacket I think that look was so cool because it's chic and it's streetwear but she could also wear that uh, to like a meeting because it's very like upscale classy but it has the trends of the color then you have the bomber jacket and the oversized jeans which is another trend I didn't get to talk about all the trends that are out. I just tried to touch on a many of them that I could think of that I thought were cute. Um, but jeans, oversized jeans, the baggy jeans are in style and a big trend in 2022 as well, which that lady in the lime green is showing. Um, but these are a lot of the trends that I uh, myself is wearing and I saw that is a big trend for 2022. Uh, sound off below in the comments and let me know what's your favorite look or are you interested in trying some of them or already do. Um, I hope these uh, tips were helpful in styling your new 2022 wardrobe or shopping in your current closet and pulling pieces together to create these new trends. Because a lot of times we don't realize that we have some of these things already. We just haven't put them together because trends change. Everything's kind of like 360 in fashion, so they come back around. So you get to use them over again if you keep them. Um, again, 
thanks for watching guys i'm gonna put some more pictures um in through other things that i didn't get to talk about just to give you some ideas of other trends that are happening for 2022 and to give you some ideas in reference to something you may be interested in i hope this video was helpful again as always thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you in my next one have a good one